Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. What's up? Today's video is going to be about the famous rapper, actor, and TV host Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice used to be famous in his day, but his success and fame continues to date. He was able to make his name due to his talent and hard work, and somehow it has been sustained by him in 2022 as well. In today's video, we will talk about how Vanilla Ice is still so rich in 2022. Number 5. The Beginning of a Never-Ending Career My music went number one, and when it went number one, all of a sudden my crowds went... Vanilla Ice, or Robert Matthew Van Winkle, was born in 1967 in South Dallas. His mother remarried, and he kept on moving between Miami and Dallas in his childhood. He realized that he loved rapping at an early age. According to him, it's a very big passion of mine because I love poetry. I was just heavily influenced by that whole movement and it's molded me into who I am today. This shows that his love for rapping and talent was positively influenced by his movements between places. He had a friend group, which consisted of mostly black people, so he was called Vanilla by them as he was the only white person in this group. He got the name Vanilla Ice because of the name Vanilla given to him by his friends, and Ice was chosen as a result of one of his breakdancing steps. Number 4. The Struggle Didn't really come out for three years later. We didn't have enough money to buy a video, so I had to borrow some money to make the video. And Vanilla Ice went through a lot of struggle to reach where he is today. In an interview, he remembered how he used to make money during his teenage years. He once visited a club called City Lights and saw a breakdance competition going on. His friend forced him to participate in it as he was extremely good at breakdancing. He realized that he could make money out of his breakdancing abilities, so he used to visit different malls with his crew, which consisted of his friends. This helped him to make 40 bucks. He used to spin on his head just to entertain people and earn a meager amount of 40 bucks. He used to have pizza from the money he earned. Other than this, he used to compete with other groups from different schools in beatboxing, rap, and breakdancing. Along with all the struggle and obstacles, Vanilla Ice surely had a great and adventurous childhood, as he was able to give an outlet to his talent and skills during all the competitions he participated in. Number 3. The Success With, uh, I think it was MC Hammer, and it's just gone mainstream. And it was us because it was my record that was first rap record to go number one. So. Vanilla Ice soon began his career as a rapper and began climbing the ladder of success. Initially, he started to open the shows of famous rappers. Moreover, the audience that used to visit his shows was all black. There was not a hint of any white people, but things began to change soon. He started getting a white audience when he opened the show for MC Hammer. Although he never thought that his audience would get bigger and include people from all races, seeing white people as his audience was an extremely positive sign of success for him. He started getting successful with time, and his career was at its peak in the 1990s. He started visiting different countries and performed there to make them understand what rap music really is. That is how he started catering to wider demographics. During the 1990s, he was able to sign a contract with SBK Records, which paved his way to success. He recorded To The Extreme again, and it became a commercial hit at that time. For a long period of 16 weeks, it was able to remain at number one at the Billboard. He was becoming a popular face amongst the crowd, and people began to memorize his raps by heart. Such was his impact. Number 2. Selling 160 Million Records 160 million records and still selling. My record that was released 20-something years ago. Vanilla Ice began his career as a lead actor in the late 1990s, but he wasn't able to flourish in the role of an actor. Although his music career had several ups and downs, the sales of his albums always remained high. This is the main reason why he still owns a whole lot of wealth. During an interview in 2017, Vanilla Ice mentioned how he was able to sell 160 million records. In the interview, while talking about his records, he said, They're still selling. My records that were released 20-something years ago, to the extreme, every year has sold over 2 to 3 million copies. Just this year alone, it's probably 3 to 4 million. It's crazy. Number 1. Still Rich in 2022 According to Vanilla Ice, his record, To the Extreme, was released some 20 years ago, but still remains a hit. He also mentioned how he has played in countries including China, Russia, and some Muslim countries as well. His success and fan following is so huge to date that he plays in countries where people don't even speak English. His net worth is more than $20 million in 2022, which shows that his fandom has still not changed. Vanilla Ice is one of the rappers who were able to continue and maintain their fan following for more than two decades. With that, we come to the end of our video. 
If you liked this video, please press the like button and hit the bell icon to receive notifications in the future too.